Hi families. Um, this is going to be what would be covered in a parent night. Sadly, we can't do that in person. So hopefully this answers some of your questions. First of all, thank you so much for choosing Teddy Bear Corner for your children's early education needs. Um, my name is Joelle Stanton and I am the director here at Teddy Bear Corner. I've been working here for about 20 years off and on. I love what I do. I started out in the preschool classroom. I absolutely adore the children and seeing them grow and develop. So it is hard to step away <laughs> from being in the classroom, but I, I'm still there. I still pop in. I still check on my teachers and make sure they're doing what needs to be done. Um, we have brand new owners. Our owners are Dan and Shelby Hall and they are wonderful. They want to continue the traditions and the legacy that was started over 35 years ago with Teddy Bear Corner. So I'm really happy to have them and to be able to continue with where we're going. Um, our goal is for every child to excel in the classroom academically and socially. We want to encourage fun with learning. We don't ever want to have that stigmatism of it's boring or whatever. We want it to always be fun. So we're very excited to welcome back our two teachers. Sophia Bartels has been with us since we are third year teaching preschool. Um, she is loving and kind and giving and just that gentle soul that our children need. And then Josie Trevino, she's coming back for her second year. She's a little bit more firm, but she still has that loving touch for her children. She also, and Josie also has been a pool manager for many years and for the Grandview, um, the Grandview pool. So we're really happy to have her. So one of the things that I want to talk about is some safety and surveillance that we have going on. Um, for safety, I have cameras in all of the buildings and in the playgrounds and, and things like that. So our ch I, sometimes um, a child falls, a teacher can't exactly see what happened. I can go back on the cameras to see how what happened. Uh, sadly, we've had parents take the wrong code or backpack. I can go back on the cameras and see kind of what happened and be able to track it down. Um, sometimes, sometimes our, our cameras don't always cooperate, but I am able to see what's going on in the classrooms. Um, one of the things that I really want to um, address is our new sign-in policy. Um, we used to sign in in the classroom at a kiosk. We have now updated to um, doing everything by your phone. Um, parents can download an app. If I've, I have emailed most everyone. Uh, you download the app onto your phone. You have to enable your GPS, and when you pull in, you can check your child in and out. We're trying to limit, because of COVID, the amount of foot traffic in and out of the buildings I get. Sometimes you're gonna have to come in, you know, all families and staff will be wearing masks. Masks are not required for children, but we're just doing our best to kind of limit, you know, limit that time of in and out of the classroom of different families and things. If you have somebody other than the parents picking up your child, you need to make sure that they're still on my list. Uh, the teachers will come out and um, they have a tablet. So those parents or those um, family members or friends that aren't necessarily have the app on their phone, they will come out and they can pull up the child's name and the person's name and then they can sign the child out that way. It's just a, a safety procedure that we're going through. Um, again, if your family member or friend is not on our list in our computer system, they can't take the child. So please call me if you have somebody new or you're not sure if they've been added to your account, I can take care of all of that. Um, I also want to talk about arrival and departure. It's very important that children come to school on time every day and are picked up on time every day. When a child comes in a little bit late, um, it causes a little bit of a, a fear and anxiety in your child because everybody's staring at them because they're walking through the door late. When they were all coming in at once, everything's ready and the children have activities until we're ready to start our day. And then we hit the ground running and we're just go, go, go for the whole day. Uh, something I want to also explain to our families temporarily as our school year is starting, we won't be in our preschool classroom. We're having to use that for our school age children. So our classes will be out in the library. They're still gonna be um, doing their writing, still gonna have choice time. They're still gonna have lots to do out there. It's just we had to kind of move, shuffle around a little bit to be able to accommodate all of our families. So that's something that I want us to keep in mind. Also pick up, make sure whoever's picking them up is here on time. My teachers need to go on their lunches short, in between classes and you know or do their planning or whatever needs to happen. So um, attendance and um, timely manner dropping off and picking up is very crucial to our program. If you are late picking up your child, there is um, a late fee that will be billed at 
250 per minute per child. So keep that in mind. It's not something we want to have to do, but we just want to make sure that you understand that. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what I had to, to talk about because this is a little bit different than doing it here um, through a video. Clothing, so make sure your children are dressed appropriately. We go outside every single day. The children are always outside, so make sure they have jackets when the weather's cooler. Um, Flip-flops are not allowed at all in the facility. They are a tripping hazard. Um, right now, we're, we don't have any field trips per se scheduled because of COVID, but if that lifts, if, co if everything lifts and we're able to do that, make sure that they're dressed appropriately. You know, if we're gonna go pick pumpkins, make sure they're not wearing sandals they don't you know they don't want stickers or things like that into their feet so just kind of always make sure your children are dressed appropriately for weather or whatever the activity is that day um we talked about cell phones a little bit for checking in but also please don't be on your cell phone when you're picking up your child or texting when you're picking up your child uh, your child should be the most important thing when you come to pick them up so you can talk to them and know about their day it's a safety feature too we want to make sure that you have your child in your position as you leave um, sometimes people be talking on their phones and forget that they actually have their child and you know I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt so we want to make sure that when you are here you've signed them out on your cell phone and then you're ready for your child and we're not talking or texting on our cell phones um, something to expect the first day of school bring all your supplies and materials the first day it's perfect the teachers will sort them and put them away um, this year we are doing things a little bit differently um, every child will have their own pencil box to keep their materials in um, we used to use a community like community property <laughs> so everybody shared we're not doing that this year we're really trying to limit um, what we're touching and just as we're in the middle of this pandemic we want to make sure we're doing our part to keep the children safe and healthy so bring everything in that first day of school children are going to be excited um, I'm gonna to try to set something up out in front so that way if you wanted to take a picture in front of the building with your child that would be perfectly fine we're just gonna to try to distance ourselves a little bit um, to keep that in mind as you're coming if your children are sad it's sometimes the first time that at school is difficult for them we want to make sure that you understand that we're used to it tears are expected the first day our teachers will comfort them and sometimes it takes up to three weeks uh, just getting into that routine. So after three weeks, if it's still going on, we're gonna come up with a plan on how to um, prepare your child for drop off and then always reassuring them that you're gonna come back. So um, we'll get through it together, I promise. <laughs> so we also, I want you to know that um, we participate with the USDA food pro program. So we school and preschool have breakfast here and our pre-kinder class will have an afternoon snack. Um, if your child has an allergy, I hope we have it on all your paperwork. If it's a milk or dairy intolerance, make sure that you bring a substitute, you know, whether it's soy milk or um, almond milk, whatever that you prefer. So that way we can have that with our meals. But we're very excited. Every All of our meals are nutritious, whole grain, and 100% juice. Very low in sugar. So you don't have to worry about that. I hope you all received your school calendar through email. If you didn't, please call me, contact me, email, whatever you need um, so we can go through all of that. Keep an eye on your calendar for events. Like I said, not sure about field trips right now. There's There are no-go um, because of COVID. We are still gonna do our class parties, but we're not gonna be able to allow families in during that time. So we're still gonna celebrate. We'll post pictures. If you haven't already liked us on Facebook, like us on Facebook, we'll have pictures and we'll share that stuff that way. Also through the app, um, the teachers will be able to share pictures with you through the app. Uh, it's just trying to make it so it's an easier um, transition for you as we're adjusting to this new normal. Hopefully it doesn't stand, stay forever. <laughs> so just keep an eye on the school calendar. We have um, parties and school pictures we'll be doing in November. The way it stands right now, we won't have our in-person Christmas program. We're kind of brainstorming on how we can do this. Maybe we'll be doing a video just like this and have our the kids sing songs for their families here at school, and then we'll post that. Um, just until I know we know what's going on um, with COVID and the pandemic and stuff for the safety of the staff and students and families, this is what we're gonna be doing. So bear with us. Same thing with uh, graduation. Not sure how that's gonna work yet. So everything's to be determined as we go through this together. 
Um, if you ha need to speak to the teachers or myself, you're welcome to call at any time. Uh, teachers are in the classroom, so we try to set appointments, you know, when you need to talk to them. And again, pick up and drop off. It's okay to exchange words, you know, of course, you want to see how your child's doing. But if it's something that takes them more than a couple minutes, please call us. We'll set an appointment so that way the teacher takes time to call you and speak with you over the phone so that way we can address your concerns. Um, we're busy here and I know you are too so we want to make sure we utilize everybody's time accordingly. So we have two fundraisers this year. This is kind of new. We're looking into doing a partnership to have t-shirts made for our children and for families and, and things like that. So that'll be our fall fundraiser. Uh, years ago we used to do these adorable little ones where they drew faces and I'm trying to track that down feverishly. Um, if not, we'll find a, a nice t-shirt that'll say Teddy Bear Corner and is, if, if we have events and we get to do field trips again, those t-shirts that you purchase will be wonderful to wear on the days of the field trips so they, everybody knows those are a Teddy Bear kid. So it's kind of exciting for us. And then in the spring, we have um, our Little Caesar Pizza Hut, Pizza Kit sale. So we're really excited about that. Um, the, all the money raised goes for materials and supplies for our classrooms. Um, 100 percent to um, better and get you know things break as the years go on so we replace the toys that were um, overly loved <laughs> so those are things that we use our fundraisers for so we're very excited for those things too um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the curriculum you know we have the three class classes we school preschool and pre kinder um, our we school classroom is just the basic introduction to a classroom setting, sitting in chairs, holding a crayon properly instead of a fist. We're gonna use, work on that pencil grasp and things like that. Um, introduction to scissors and just also working on the whole child. So there's free time and choice time so we can work on their social emotional development as well. Preschool's a little bit more advanced. We're gonna ask them to you know, hold that pencil properly, try to trace inside lines a little bit better, really getting them ready for that writing skill and math skills. And then pre kinder, they're going to be re reading words and doing sight words, uh, working on AB and ABB patterns so that way our math skills are growing as well. So that when they hit kindergarten, they're ready, they're 100% ready for whatever the teacher throws at them. Um, we don't expect mastery at all, just to keep that in mind. We want to put it all in there, and then when they hit kinder, if they haven't mastered it, it's in there, it's already there, and the teacher can pull it back out and then they can master it. So, of course, there's there's some kids that absolutely excel and other kids that are just like, yeah, I kind of remember that. So we want to just keep continue to encourage them because every child grows and develops at their own pace. I hope I've answered all your questions. Please feel free to give us a call in the office. Our phone number is 882-4070. Or you can email me at joelle, J-O-E-L-L, -L, at teddybearcornerllc.com, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. We're excited for our first day. Our first day of school will be October 6th, and like I said, our classes will be um, in the library. We're going to still work on the parking. I know uh, many of us are used to parking in front of preschool, uh, preschool building, and that'll be perfectly fine. I'll have our teachers go over and, and greet you. Um, and then maybe at pickup, maybe we'll have you pull on the other side of the building so that way we can be in the, in the playground really close and we can help get you out the door. We'll work through all of this together and I really, truly appreciate your patience as this is our new normal and we want to make sure that your child has a wonderful, successful year. Thank you again for choosing Teddy Bear Corner.